hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel and thank you so much for watching today thank you if this is your first time on this youtube channel my name is milton and thank you so much for coming here please do not forget to subscribe subscribe and support the movement so today's video i'm going to be talking about uh, metu university in ankara that is metu is middle east technical university in ankara and i will be focusing on some of the important information for international students so the information for undergraduate applicants at uh, middle east technical university shows that uh, all undergraduate students have to write um, an entrance exam all right and the entrance exam is not uh, supposed to be given by the middle east technical university board which means that for you to 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 apply for a position as an international student at Middle East Technical University is either you write an entrance exam and pass the exam, all right, or when you reach campus, you write the exam. And some of the exams you are going to be presenting, or if you write yours from Africa, you can write an exam like SAT, all right. SAT is an exam mostly written in American schools uh, where English and mathematics is um, highly assessed. You can also write another one called Take Care DK. Right, most of these universities are on. Uh, most of these um, exams are online exams, and again, remember for you to apply at uh, Middle East Technical University in Ankara, you have to have uh, for bachelors. All right, you must have a high school document, being it your YX certificate, your ordinary level certificate. If you are a Cameroonian or Nigerian or Ghanaian, you also need your WESE. There is something called the WESE certificate. All right, high school documents in general. All right. Those other students coming from other nationalities like uh, China, Mongolia, Vietnam, India, Pakistan, they do have their own documents they are going to be presenting as well. All right. So that is what you should know. And students who study with uh, different curriculums and grading system than the national curriculum uh, for the grading system given by countries are not able to use their diplomas. That is to say, if you are... Your, your curriculum doesn't meet the curriculum in Turkey. You will not be able to get uh, admissions in this uh, in this uh, university. But what I can advise you to do is before you apply for a position at Middle East Technical University in Ankara, Turkey, you should uh, consult an advisor or uh, the international students office. All right. Tell them this is what I have. This is what I have. Uh, how can I do? Of course, if you haven't taken the, the SAT exam or the ACT exams to in order to be eligible to apply for Metu University, you have to consult, contact the, the advisor of the program or um, contact the international um, student uh, office. You understand? Then you also need to understand that there is a criteria that you have to use um, when applying for uh, Middle East Technical University. First, you need to understand that they have two campuses, one in Ankara and one in Northern Cyprus, all right? You can decide to study in Northern Cyprus. In that case, if you are an international student, you will not be using a visa to go to, to Northern Cyprus. But if you are going to Ankara, you will be needing a visa to go to Turkey because Ankara is the capital city of Turkey, all right? Those of you who thought it's Istanbul, it has been changed. So now, it's Ankara. Now, if you decide to to apply for Middle East Technical University in Ankara, all right, using the American College test, there is the test uh, that is written mostly by Americans. It is called ACT, which is American College Test. You are going to be needing at least 27 out of 36, all right, for the score if you must study in Ankara. But if you are going to study in Northern Cyprus, you should get a score of at least 25 out of 36, all right? So that is how it is. Now, if you must study using the SAT exam, all right, the SAT, the SAT, you have to have a score of at least 1,200 and 1,600 with mathematics. Remember I told you before that you are going to be studying, um, the SAT exam requires maths, English, and some other little calculations, but it's usually not very difficult, okay? Then, um, you, if and especially if you are studying in uh, something like engineering, architecture, or the science programs, it will be good you write the SAT. Remember, most schools in Turkey, especially these top schools like Istanbul Technical University and Middle East Technical University in Ankara, you always have an entrance exams to write. 
all right so that is what you should understand again a diploma of international baccalaureate with a minimum score of 33 all right which means that you must have at least one high school a levels all right a minimum score of 33 if you look at high school very well let's say you are advanced level you have five papers which are all a if you're a cameroonian five papers in a in advanced level in cameroon is 25 points okay now you add it to the grades that you have for your ordinary levels you will be admitted into middle east technical university all right but for the university in north cyprus the branch that is in northern cyprus you do not need up to 33 points if you have 25 is still okay so that is the information you need to get all right now the next thing you should understand and i will be talking about is the application fee at middle east technical university in case you want to apply for it know that there is no application fee payment all right and when you apply you have to scan all your documents and they must be in pdf or jpg formats all right for you to upload to the application system all documents need to be in the turkish or the english language that is something you need to know if they are in another language you need to translate them okay if you receive admissions the original of the documents would need to be submitted to the university during the registration all right because if you are admitted you have to move to turkey and when you are doing registration to start studies you will submit the originals now these are the documents you need first of all you need a photo a photograph all right a photograph not a passport photograph i'm still coming to that you need a photograph of about 4.5 times 6 centimeters in size all right in case you you do not have it you have to resize it and it must be taken for the past six months it shouldn't exceed six months because what usually happens is most people will change the look will change on their faces all right so that is the first document you need you also need um a passport a passport for the passport you are uploading the passport data page all right that is the the, the identification that you are going to prove they want to see your names, the, your passport number, and uh, your, the expiring date of the passport. Now, you also need to show your high school diplomas or your documents, all right, in case you are applying for your bachelor's degree. And these documents have to be, like I said, in the Turkish and English language, and you need to upload them. Again, remember that the documents you are uploading should carry the grades you had in high school and the uh, the the, the 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 paper number all right there is something we call the the, the document number it should be there and uh, an equivalence letter from the ministry of education of turkey or the turkish embassy should be certified that is to say the the the, the important thing is when you get those documents to to submit them for admissions if you can certify the documents at the level of the turkish embassy it is fine or if you don't do them it is still fine all right but when you get the visa and you are moving to turkey you need to get a document from the turkish embassy to show that the documents are originals all right that is okay now in case you are applying for master's degree you should provide your transcripts that you got for bachelor's okay and again those of you who are just leaving high school if you have high school transcript all right you should submit it i think those from nigeria with uh, something like the wayek is okay and those from cameroon with the ordinary levels and advanced level is okay as well if you have uh, something like an exam an internationally recognized exam like the sat exam the gc exam the baccalaureate you need to upload all of them okay you need to upload all of them and also check application requirements so that you do know what is going to be accepted or what will not be accepted I hope you you understand what I mean. Like I said, there is no application fee. If there is a missing document in your application, it will be you will have information or you will be notified in your application portal when um, you are applying, when you have applied and you are waiting for confirmation. Now, some of the programs that you will be studying or undergraduate students can study undergraduate international students can study at this university as of 2021-2022 include those of the faculty of architecture all right there are programs in the faculty of architecture like industrial design architecture itself city and regional planning you can study them for uh, as an international student at this university okay at uh, east uh, uh, istanbul um 
um, Middle East Technical University, that's the university I'm confusing with between it and Istanbul Technical University. They are the two things. Istanbul Technical University is found in Istanbul, and Middle East Technical University is found in Ankara, all right? At the Middle East Technical University for the Faculty of Arts and Science, you will have programs like biology, philosophy, physics, statistics, chemistry, mathematics, molecular biology, genetics, psychology, sociology, history, to select from, all right? Then for the Faculty of Economics and Administrative Sciences, you can study economics, business administration, political science, and public administration, international relations, and global and international affairs, which is a joint program, all right? Then for the Faculty of Education, you can study computer education and technology. You can study physics, English language, chemistry education, mathematics education, and of course, English language. I believe some of them will be taught in the Turkish language, while some will be taught in English, all right? So all you need to do is to click on a particular program to know the language of instructions. Now, most of the programs are coming from the Faculty of Engineering, and they include computer engineering, environmental engineering, electrical and electronics engineering, industrial engineering, food engineering, aerospace engineering, civil engineering, geological engineering, chemical engineering, mining engineering, mechanical engineering, and metallurgy and material engineering and of course petroleum and gas engineering so these are some of the programs you can study at this university all right so so that is what you should know again when you are applying all right know that you can apply as an international student a non-turkish you can also apply um, to study a turkish course it all depends on the requirements that you go through all right, and know that the tuition fee that Turkish citizens are going to be paying is going to be different from yours. I hope you get it because not all programs have the same tuition fee. Turkish citizens will pay less money than international students. All right, when it comes to um, the Middle East Technical University in Ankara. Now, as a transfer student, in case you are a student and you want to transfer to the Middle East Technical University, know that it is possible. Now, I have some people, or uh, let me say some students from Northern Cyprus who always watch my YouTube channel. They have been asking me, especially those of you asking me if you can transfer to this university from Northern Cyprus to Turkey. It is possible, but first of all, hey, make sure you check uh, the transfer page and read the transfer application announcement, the quotas for uh, institutional transfer applicants. And Because remember, as a transfer student, there are some documents you need to take from your university your present university, fill them and forward to the university you want to transfer in. I hope you get it. Then again, applicants from Russia, Syria, Egypt, Libya, and Yemen has to know that there is an information for them to check at the Middle East Technical University um, website. All right, Check those information to know what is happening. Then again, you need to know that there is a tuition fee payment all right and you need to know when you are paying the tuition fee again you need to know uh, the bank account numbers that you are going to be using all right for payment of tuition fee and for other details and of course when you are applying for this university know that there is a scholarship opportunity that you are going to do the scholarship is in a certain way that is in a way that if you pay a tuition fee you get discount and it all depends on how you go about it if you are paying early or not the university is going to notify you for that and again other scholarships are for international students like students coming from Afghanistan there is a scholarship called the Afghanistan government scholarship there is another one called a BP scholarship and of course Isla Islamic Development Bank scholarship okay there is a Pakistani HEC scholarship there is the Embassy of Saudi Arabia scholarship and there is a Turkey scholarship this Turkey scholarship is the scholarship for everyone international student and is going to commence by January all right a video will drop about that on my YouTube channel so you have to always check that remember as an international student in Turkey you are entitled to a health care system or let me say an insurance a medical insurance to take care of you okay and it's very very important that you sign in register so that you do your medical um, yeah do you do your health insurance and of course when you are applying to a university like this middle east technical university know that you have to get a dormitory to live inside all right there are dormitories you can book for there are dormitories like dormitory one dormitory school two dormitory three it depends on which one you want 
all right there will always be rooms in dormitory like two of double capacity you always have single rooms in the university all right so you should check all of that remember i said there is a health and psychological uh, counseling session in case uh, section or center in case you are going through anything you can contact them there are information on the website that i'm going to link in the video description for how to get um, applications for dormitory and other related things all right because you have to apply for dormitory and there are documents required to do that you need your student identity card in case you haven't applied for the visa yet and moved to turkey know that you can apply and there are informations for you to decide on there are various dormitories to decide on which one you are taking and all of that i hope this video helps you if it does please do not forget to subscribe subscribe and support the movement until we meet again in another one